Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about CPU mining with HiveOS. Now, a lot of people have HiveOS rigs and they can have anything from 1 to 12 to 19 GPUs on it. But the thing is, most of them are usually running either a 2 core or 4 core Pentium or like an i3 CPU on them. And for the most part, it just sits there idle doing nothing because GPU mining doesn't take a lot of CPU at all. Well, you can actually utilize a little bit more of your system and make a few more coins if you actually do some CPU mining. Now, granted, you could do XMR, but as you saw the title of the thumbnail for this video, it is an XMR alternative. Actually, there's two of them. Today, we're going to be talking about Varus Hash, or Varus Coin that does Varus Hash. I found it to be a fairly good alternative to XMR and works really well. If we look at the price using CoinGecko, as at the time of recording this, which is Thursday, April 29th at 1.45 p.m., we can see we're at $2.87 a coin, and it's up 0.3%. Now, if we look at the graph, grant for 24 hours, it has regular volatility in it. But if we just back off 30 days, look at that. For the longest time, it's been sitting at about 80 to 75 cents. And then right around 13th of April, when the altcoin pump started, basically, roughly, they started going up as well. And we had a nice little jump right here, and then it's been jumping up, and it looks kind of stable right now. It could go up, it could go down. I am definitely not a financial advisor, so take everything I say with a grain of salt and for um, entertainment purposes only. But this is a great way to maximize your profit on each rig. Now, using... An i3-7100 CPU, which is in my test rig. And here's a little bit of B-roll that I shot. It's literally just an extra motherboard I have sitting on top of one of my rigs right now. No GPUs in it, but I have a CPU and I wanted it to be used. It is, let's see here, where is it? Um, yeah, right here. Four thread Intel Core i3-7100 CPU. It's actually a two core four thread CPU. Now... I have it running on two threads, so two cores, and I still have two hyper threads available if I had GPUs connected to this. And honestly, running Varus Hash on the hyper threads doesn't give you really any more hash rate. It's better just to use the cores, and if you're doing this on a rig that has GPUs, the hyper threading can handle the minuscule load you need for GPU mining. So you really won't bother your system at all. So if we look at the flight sheet for Varus Hash, it's extremely easy. You make your regular wallet with your Varus address. The pool I'm using is Luck Pool. And you can see right here, this is when I was gaming last night, so... Um, the computer I'm recording on right now was off for a little while, which is Gaming PC. You can see it's offline right now because I'm recording this video. But the one we're interested in is Test Rig. And that's getting around 2.9 mega hash, roughly. Can I select just that? There you go. So, and we can see which software we're running, which if we go back over to the flight sheet, you can see we're using NHEQ Miner Dash Varus Hash. And just on this little rinky dink 35 for 50 watt CPU, we're getting almost three mega hash on average. So that's an extra bit of coin in your pocket. Now, to make sure you don't overdo it, figure out how many cores you have. Like if you only have a Pentium that has two cores and two threads, I would only use half of it. Like only have a single thread going. But since like I have a two core four thread, I don't mind using up both cores because the hyper threads are still available. So everything else is basically really simple. The only thing you need to add in here is a user config. 
for this minor right here, the NHEQ minor. It's dash T2, two threads. Let's go in and edit, I can show you. See, plug it in device configs, always go for these little extra information. And you can see here, it says the number of CPU minor threads. So I went for two, because if I don't put anything in here, it actually only ran on a single thread. So I wanted it to run on both. That's the only special setting you really need on this, and you are good to go. So you can make a little extra money on your rigs. Now if we also look down here at the bottom for the load average on the CPU, you can see 2.41. So the 2 is definitely because I'm using up 2 cores. So, And the 0.41 is just all the background processes of Hive OS running. And if, like, if I had GPUs on this actual rig itself, that would probably jump up to like 0.5 instead of 0.4. It takes practically nothing. Actually, you can see now it just dropped down. It fluctuates a little bit here and there. The big thing is, you can see Hive OS is happy with it because it's just in white. If it starts getting loaded down too much, it will first turn these numbers yellow saying, hey, the CPU's getting bottlenecked a little too much and you might start having problems, or red saying, hey, something is really wrong and you need to back off or work on your configuration. So take each CPU as a case by case basis and see what works best for you. But to have a rig running and not doing a little bit of CPU hashing on at the same time is a waste of resources. So yes, this was just a quick little video for people who don't really know much about CPU mining and yes it is still alive. Thank you for watching. Go ahead and look down in the video description. There is a link to the Misfit Mining Discord channel where you can contact me for more help and plenty of other people who would love to chat and just talk shop with mining or CPU or GPU mining or anything like that. So go ahead and check it down below. Thanks for watching, thumbs up, share, and subscribe please, and I will see you on the next video.